all right so what is going on today youtube we are going to be going in with some young uh fortune ladies as you can see from the replays um we're doing pretty good oh did we top deck at alistair yes we did we did top deck at alistair now what we can do here is definitely just normal summon this alistair real quick just to go ahead and get a plus uh, uh get a get a smooth plus one then we can use Rudra to go ahead and draw us into two more cards um, I was supposed to use this first, but I didn't. Hopefully, you guys can hear me pretty good because I do have the fan on, and I don't know if it's blowing in the mic. Hopefully not. So that would be cool for you guys to um, go ahead and listen to. And uh, yes, I am playing Lightning Vortex and shit because I am tired. And when I mean tired, fuck, I am tired of uh, <laughs> fucking playing in the OCG because they have, I swear, I should have saved, I should have saved the replay. I should have saved the replay. It was a 60 card. Um, it's not, it wasn't a light sworn deck, but it, it, he had Chaos Emperor. It was a Karibo deck, a 60 card fucking Karibo deck with, um, Chaos Emperor Dragon, uh, some Karibo card that special summons as many as you, it was just, it was sickening. And it was it was everything I hate about the OCG in one duel, and I you know I should have saved it, but I I was upset, I was upset. I'm the first to admit it. I I I got very upset. That day was not, it was not good, man. It was not good, but um, it's okay. We uh we we made some changes. So I mean we got these lightning vortexes, uh, and you know it's not really that bad of a card because sometimes you do want to get stuff in the graveyard. Um, and you definitely want to get over what your opponent does hit sword art looks like he has a very terrible hand Never mind as soon as I say that he drops the uh, the Lamia Which is going to get him a tuner Oh, and he puts the necro slime in the graveyard, but thanks to Lynx, which I still hate Lynx still hate Lynx uh, Actually, he would not be able to use the necro slime because none of these cards will go to the graveyard because they are not um, first of all, these two are pendulums, so they go to the extra deck, and then this gets banished when it leaves the field. So he shall not be able to use Necro Slime anyways, because he will not be, you know, <clears throat> he would not, uh, he would not be able to, because he would not have anything in the graveyard. And as you can see, uh, man, does this deck draw. I'm pretty sure you guys seen that from the replay, so. <laughs> man, is this, a, what? Oh, decals, okay. I was, I, was, I was like, what the hell is a level... Uh, 13 synchro that is a been that came out already and he's about to just beat me with I feel like he has some type of uh, I, I don't I'm, I want to say spell card but uh, there's something that's going to dump maybe burial um, maybe not I don't know but that being a dark really sucks because uh, even though I do play the four star um, it is not, you know, too spicy to be going into first turn, but I think I'm going to have to, uh, and then get it back. I don't play any type of Western names. I do play a link though. And then that's the, uh, I think that's a link with two different monsters. I believe so. I believe I play her. Did I? Oh, okay. I took 20. Uh, dude, are you going to let me look in my hand? Um, okay. We drew the wonder one. Jesus Christ. Um, let's see. Do we play it? Uh, it is it the oh, we do play Starboy uh, actually too. Um, what is this when this card is link summon? Uh, okay, I, they don't tell me what it is, but I'm pretty sure this is oh no, it's two with the same type. That's exactly what it is. See, this is why this is necessary right here. This is exactly why it's necessary. Um, so what I can do here is I can just uh, I'm guessing I go spell book of prophecy. Because of, uh, yeah, I, th I think, yeah, Spellbook of Prophecy is uh, clearly the best choice right now. Man, this deck draws a shit ton to let you guys know that it draws a shit. Matter of fact, I can get over everything on this board. I can get literally over everything. So, what I can do here is, um, I can use this guy because he gives me an extra, uh, what's the name? He gives me an extra link. So, I mean, an extra zone. So, that's, that's pretty cool. If he's going to actually let me play... We can actually get some good things going. Um, so we're going to use this. I'm going to go ahead and draw two. Ooh, a fortune. Oh, okay. So now, what we can also do is use the Rudra and discard the extra spellbook of secrets because we're not going to be able to pretty much use it. There is the Fortune Lady Light, which we can uh, sadly can't. Actually, we can do, and that's going to be actually really good. 
So what we're going to do here is we're going to use invocation because we do not want to uh, anger the gods. And yes, we did put a second Makaba in here because Makaba is just so fucking good, especially with this deck because you get like 400 goddamn, uh, what's the name? You get like 400 cards in your hand. Let's go ahead and activate this guy right here. This reckless uh, magic circle because, uh, oh shit, no, they don't want to negate that. Um, thought I was asking if I want to add an Alistair. But the reason why I wanted to do this first uh, is, you know what, we're going to actually Fortune's Future also. Actually, we're going to do this guy. We're going to do this because every time I don't do one of these cards, as you've seen, I drew into the Alistair just off top. Um, we're going to get this. You know, let's put on Ignore Chain. Every time I don't use this card, um, and if I don't use something I can search with, I end up, uh, what's the name? I end up actually drawn into the card that I easily could have searched with like a secret or a reckless magic circle and stuff like that. And look, look at this. We're drawn to the gold sark, which is good. And then what we can do here is, huh, do we have another? No, we don't. Okay, so gonna do here is use this invocation to put this one back in our hand and then we can invocation into the fire guy um, matter of fact we can just lightning vortex just so we can banish the fire which is just which is just amazing um, we can actually go into a dark guy that might be the smartest thing to do you know what I think this dark the dark guy is actually the best option right now um, because that means what he can only activate one effect and then he can only attack with one. So that's exactly where we're going to go. We're going to banish this Necro Slime because that's clearly the card we definitely should be getting over. Let's just go him right there and let's just go ahead and attack. So not only did we use their Deco Talker to our advantage, we did get um, we did get some nice shit going. So now he can only activate one monster effect. So I don't I'm not too uh, pre I'm not too, you know, ready to negate with Makaba because I mean, you can only use one effect. So I can save the Macabre for a spell card or a, or a spell card. That's pretty much the only thing I can do with Macabre because we can only activate one monster effect. But that's fine because even if Macabre dies, we have another Alistair. We have a spell book of prophecy. Uh, we have invocation. We have Gold Sark. We can Gold Sark an Eidolon and put it back to the hand. We can do a bunch of shit. Um, and I feel like we just have this one dead in the bag. Because like if you activate something like Swirl Slime, that's fine. He can't even attack over this. And even if he could, I probably might. I know I'm not even gonna. I don't even have to let him. Because mm, wait, I think I might have to. Uh, I think I would have to negate it. But let me see. Mm, that's that's the sad part. Because if I do negate it, this would you know is it basically. Since it says you can, you can only, uh, each player can activate. If I negate the activation, he still is able to use something else. Uh, I wish it said you can only use one card per turn, and then that would have changed it uh, super bad. But he's going to set a back row, and it doesn't look like he has anything to do. I don't think he has a way to get out of this. This being a beast dark, we can't really use this with a fusion. So we, I mean, with a link, so we're probably going to have to do something else. Sadly, there's no generic. There's not really too many good good generic links. Uh, what's the name? Deco Talker is one of them. Uh, Cyber's Dragon is one of them. But like I said, it's not really too good. I, I, it's not really too good. So I mean, I don't really know what to do. But we do have our graveyard just littered up with other types. Look at that. Look, light, dark, fire, water. We have everything. We feeling like the Avatar over here. Oh shit! And we top deck a Twin Sorcerer. Ain't that some shit? DD witch, that's fine. Go ahead. Oh shit, you see that? I, you know how many times I done lost because of this shit? It's so ridiculous. I done lost like 400 games because of that. Um, that is just stupid. It's okay. Go ahead, do what you gotta do, young man. Do what you gotta do, young man. What do you want to get rid of? Uh, no, sir. I'm gonna use you. And then I think we're possibly going to discard this guy. Yeah, we're going to discard that girl and then that's about it that's the only thing we're going to destroy because uh can we get game yes we can get game sadly we only use one monster effect so if we turn this to attack uh that'd be what 15 in uh what's the name this would be um if i pump this that'd be a 35 and then a thousand okay wait no we can get game here folks 
we can get game here folks you know how we're going to get game this is exactly how we're going to get oh he surrendered that's fine let's go ahead and go straight to the deck profile all right so after all of that we have come to the deck profile let me know what you guys think do you guys think fortune ladies are dead do you think they actually can be playable i mean be played in the format or you know do you, you know, like i said do you think they're just dead in the water they really can't do anything their time has passed i mean fortune ladies were never a great deck but it's just a fun side deck. But I, my opinion, I think this deck is actually, uh, depending on what type of links come out, it can be, it can be played. But I'm leaning towards the dead side because even though we can draw a lot, we can do a whole bunch of shit, we only, we're restricted that one link, I mean, that one extra deck zone really just restricts what Fortune Ladies can do. If there's a way we can get more out, then possibly i would say this deck is still good but hey right now i would say it's just a fun deck and even as a fun deck it's probably a bad deck so that is it for today thank you guys for watching i hope you guys did enjoy it and if you would like to support the channel all i ask is if you guys can click and add that would be very helpful and i would appreciate it very much see you tomorrow